Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Daddy which is all about integrating your IT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. If you haven't seen my past videos, it's all about using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge together with their plugins to integrate these devices. The most important thing here is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. That's the idea. So please do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button to follow along. So on my continuous quest to integrate my not so certified IoT devices into Apple HomeKit, in today's video, we will integrate the Wise Cam into Apple HomeKit using the RTSP protocol. And I've been using this cam for the last one month. Now, just in case you didn't know, RTSP stands for Real Time Streaming Protocol, which is a network protocol designed for use in entertainment and communication systems to control streaming media servers. The protocol is used for establishing and controlling media sessions between two or multiple endpoints. Now remember, you can also use this video to also configure your other RTSP supported camps. Now, when the Wise Camps were initially launched, they literally disrupted the security camp segment by delivering a product with all the bells and whistles of an expensive camp, yet keeping it super affordable. There are tons of videos out there on its specs and how the community have been using them on for their daily use. Unfortunately, the Wise Camps don't support Apple HomeKit out of the box and not sure when they will. So for all of this integration to work with Apple HomeKit, we will need one, obviously a Wise Cam V2 or the Pan Cam, two, a memory card, three, your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my case, I'm using Hoops, but this is also applicable uh, and can be done in HomeBridge as well. I've broken down the video into two parts with their timestamps in the description. They are adding and flashing the cam to the plugin configuration. So as always, like I say, let's not waste time and let's jump into this configuration. To add the camp is very straightforward. Open up the app, select the camp, Y scam in this case, follow the instructions by plugging the power and the reset button, followed by adding the network. Once you added the network, uh, you'll uh, get a prompt uh, to scan the QR code. Please face the camera towards this QR code. And once you hear a voice, tap on that option. Wait for it to connect, add it to your room and uh, follow if you want to uh, share it with some of your family members, uh, allow the notifications in iOS 14 and connect with your network. And also if you want to upgrade it, so uh, allow the option to upgrade it. And once this is completed, you can see the cam is online. Once you have added the Wise Cam into your app, we can head towards the Wise Cam RTSP webpage. I've added the link into the description, a very straightforward uh, process. All you've got to do is follow the instructions. You've got two files to download. One is the uh, Wisecam V2 and the other one is Wisecam Pan. In this case, since we are flashing the one on the left, all we got to do is click on this link, let it download the file. And once the download has completed, all you've got to do is name it as demo.bin. And once that's completed, this copy paste it into your memory card. Follow the instructions over here. Uh, if you want, you can also get in your family member uh, on, onto this uh, setup. It could be a good family activity. Um, press the setup button while plugging the USB cable and continue to hold the setup button until the light turns solid blue. Wait for it, it takes a couple of minutes. And uh, once it's completed, you can uh, see it uh, paired into your account. But the very most important thing, you need to add the device into your app. So once you have completed the uh, RTSP, Let's go and enable the option by selecting the cam, go into the configuration, advanced settings and scroll all the way down to RTSP. Enable the RTSP and you can put in any username and password as you desire. And once you have completed that, tap on generate URL and then you can copy and test the link. So once you have copied the link, you can open up a VLC file, open network and paste the URL and say open. You should, you should see the uh, link open over here, uh, live onto the cam. And, uh, and what you want to do first is go into window and go into media information. And under Kodak details, you'll get all of the video resolution, the frame rate, the Kodak, 
and uh, other technical uh, information of the streaming that's been happening right now and you can see on the screen. So this shows that the RTSP is working correctly and we can connect with the device. The flashing has been completed successfully. Now let's go into the plugin configuration. For the plugin configuration, let's log in into our Hoops uh, service. You can also do the same for Homebridge. Go into plugins and uh, search for camera. In my case, I've already installed it. Click on configuration. I've added the link into the description and you can access it and get the configuration for the Wise Cam. But before we copy paste into the Wise Cam, what we want to do is go into the iSpy Connect uh, database. And uh, if you want to make sure if your links are correct to be added to the plugin, this is a fantastic uh, database to get your configurations. So let's scroll all the way to W, More, and Wise Cam. And you will see over here the URL generators for both of these models. Okay, these are the models that is available. If you can click on it, uh, we can put in the IP address and we can put in the username and password that we have and you can generate a URL. Okay, the same way you can also do it for the JPEG to get the images. You put the username and password and you can generate a URL that we can use into the configuration. So let's go into the uh, Hoops plugin and let's copy paste this link and let's go into our hoops configuration and let's paste it into the camera section okay so what we want to do is we want to copy paste the rtsp link that we have with us so i'll go to my vlc copy this link paste it over here okay and uh, let's go into the camera database for the jpeg and this is going to admin password so let's say generate and let's copy this go into the hoop section and paste it over here okay so one of the first things you want to do is for the uh, video configuration is the source uh, make sure you have this uh, rtsp transport uh, included uh, that adds uh, the the way data has been transferred over the wi-fi using the TCP protocol. If you're using HTTP, you can change this to HTTP followed by the link. Same way for the still image. The codec is copy because the Wise Cam natively uses the Apple codec, the H.264. If your cam doesn't support the H.264, uh, uh, make sure you go into the uh, VLC media information and get the, rear, uh, the correct codec. Let's visit that again. File network and you can go to window media information and this is the information that you need okay if there's any other uh, codec that's being used uh, make sure you uh, fill that in the codec section motion enabled okay and uh, the max weighted height uh, if your cam supports the h.264 you can include it but i've noticed that the video tend, tends to get a little bit choppy onto your apple tv as well as streaming the service so the max width uh, and height we leave it as 12 80 720 these are some of the parameters you can tweak uh, if your image gets too choppy again the guide comes from the vlc uh, max fps frames per second is 15 audio through and uh, this is some of the information you can add. You can also add in the model and the manufacturer correctly. So I've added in the model and the manufacturer and I'll just li name this as my living room cam. Okay. And uh, let's save it. Once it's saved, let's open up the home app. So you see that the Vice cam appears over here. Let's click on it. Give it a couple of seconds to refresh. Oh, and there it is. Uh, we have the Wise Cam available now uh, into the Apple Home Kit using the RTSP uh, protocol. And uh, you also see it showing up in your room. So since I previously already added it, let's go in. Yes, so here we have it. We can settings and we can see that this is some of the information already filled in. And it also, uh, get the uh, sensor enabled as well so there we have it refreshing quickly and if we click on it we can also get the live view 
right here. So I'm recording right now and it's picking up my self. And if you go to automations, you can also add in a new automation of using the sensor that comes along with it. So we have the Y scam sensor. You can toggle on and off or stop detecting uh, and create your security uh, automations. So just a quick uh, recap, you want to make sure that uh, you use the iSpy Connect database to get the right uh, video URL and the JPEG URL and you paste it into the configuration. And also make sure uh, that you have your width and height uh, configured correctly. Start low and then you can tweak it uh, so as to not to get a choppy image. And then make sure your Mac streams are too based on the output from the VLC stream. You can update your Mac's uh, uh, frames per second. A very straightforward plugin. One last thing before we wrap up from this plugin video. If you want to add in multiple, multiple cams, all you got to do is go below, put a comma and add in a multiple cam. So you can copy paste and add in the multiple cam together with its source and still image. So this whole uh, section, you'll have to repeat it and add in another cam. So go to the next line and paste. So with this way, you can have two cams. And uh, all of the links are in the description. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we have flashed and configured the Wisecam into Apple HomeKit using the RTSP protocol. Plus, using the iSpy Connect database, you can also add other supported products as well. Now, to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because that's the motivator, that's the real driver. The more, the merrier for bringing all of this content for us. And if there's anything I can help with, don't feel shy to leave a comment down below. And not forgetting the talented developers out there who make all of these plugins and make it possible for us. Don't forget to visit their GitHub page. Give them a star because that's their motivator as well. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.